What is going on, everyone? The Houston Texans, they continue to make moves. General Manager Nick Casario is committed to putting the best 53-man roster out there every single Sunday. A couple days ago, it was extending Shaq Mason to a three-year, $36 million deal. Then breaking news, if you haven't heard, I have the tweet here. According to Aaron Wilson, Texans signing corner Shaquille Griffin to a one-year deal with maximum value of $4.5 million. Three million guaranteed, according to a league source in KPRC2. He followed that up by saying Texans signing veteran cornerback Shaquille Griffin, a former Seahawks Pro Bowl selection who was with the Jaguars the past two seasons and released in March to a one-year deal with the max value of four and a half million dollars. Now, this is in addition to an already elite secondary, in my opinion. I love this move. A low risk, high reward for this Houston Texans team and secondary. But before we do that, guys, happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. You guys are doing a great job. If you are a dad who is doing both parts, you are doing a great job as well. And welcome to the 713 Houston Sportcast. I am your host, Ruben Calvillo. I drop daily Houston Texans content. Follow me on Twitter at 713HSP. Follow me on Instagram, 713Houston Sports. Now, without further ado, now why I like this Shaq Griffin signing because right now it is seen as purely pure depth. The Houston Texans, in my opinion, are going to have an elite secondary led by uh, Derek Stingley as your cornerback number one. Then it is Steven Nelson as your cornerback number two. Your slot guys are going to be Tavier Thomas, who did good last year for the Houston Texans, and Desmond King, who was a pro bowler slash all pro for the Los Angeles Chargers. And shout out to Desmond King. He has played very well for the Houston Texans in the past number of years. Now, Shaquille Griffin, I view him as an outside corner, six foot guy, which is what I think the Houston Texans needed. And for someone who only got paid three and a half million dollars, this is a steal for the Houston Texans. If he could go back to how he was when he was playing with the Seattle Seahawks, which was a top 10 cornerback, a pro bowler in 2019. And then he got big money from the Jacksonville Jaguars in 2021. He was the number one cornerback on the market and he signed a three year, $44 million deal with Jacksonville. Now, he only played 14 games in the first season, did pretty much, you know, did okay. Then in year two, only played seven games. Uh, he played the first seven games then had a back injury, what ended his season. And he did not play good in those seven games at all. He was picked on a lot. He was um, just a liability out there. And this is someone who the Jaguars gave $44 million to. He was released at the end of the season, saving them, I think, 10 to $13 million for the cap and this is easy pickings for the Houston Texans with new head coach D'Amico Ryans, who has lit a fire under this city, under this team. You can expect guys like Shaquille Griffin to bounce back and make a huge impact for this Houston Texans team. Another reason why I like it, man, is because Derek Stingley, as much as we want to say he's going to have a great year, too. Well, he missed a great deal of his rookie season last year. And Shaquille Griffin, who, yes, it is coming back a back injury, but before that was pretty much healthy throughout his whole career, still only 27 years old, ladies and gentlemen. This is a potential gem for the Houston Texans. You will love to see that, right? However, it is purely depth right now. I don't want to get my hopes too up well for Shaquille Griffin. I definitely wanted him two years ago. But if he goes back to the same style of defense, which the Houston Texans are going to be playing under new head coach D'Amico Ryans, can he get back to that peak form? You guys let me know how you feel about the Shaquille Griffin signing. Happy Mother's Day, guys. As always, go Texans. Y'all have a very blessed day.